So the, the first one, number one, what are the what are the chords we have there? C minor. Well, we're in C minor, yeah. Five seven the one. We're in C minor and G major. Five seven. Is that a, is that five seven or is it just five? Five seven. Is this five? There's no there's no seven there. Oh. Okay, and then what inversion is that? Five seven. Second inversion, yeah. So it's five, six, four. One. And so what kind of a cadence would that be? Uh, it would be yeah, it'd be imperfect because this one is an inversion. And it'd be authentic because it's five and eight. I can't see. Okay. Second inversion or third inversion? Second inversion. Because it's just a triad. There's no third inversion for triads. Oh, sorry. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what about number two? We're in the key of F. And what's our chord progression there? Five to six. Five to six, yeah. Five to six. And do we have a double third there? Yes, we do. <laughs> so what kind of a cadence would that be? Deceptive, yeah. Actually, I think for this, I just wanted people to write D, you know, for deceptive. Okay, what about number three? Five to one. Four to one. That's an Four. Amen chord. Four to one, so it would be what kind of a plagal? Plagal. Okay. And is it perfect or imperfect? Perfect. Perfect. Perfect, because the tonic is in the soprano and both chords are in root position. So it'd be a perfect plagal. Oh, I'm going to forget to read it. So that was four to one. That'd be perfect plagal cadence. What about number four? We're in B minor. One to five. And what are my chords? Yes, one to five. <laughs> this is a page from a test I gave. <laughs> um, so yeah, so one to five, so that would be half, half, cadence. half cadence. But what kind of half cadence? Is it authentic, Phrygian, play? Authentic. Yeah, authentic half because it involves five. Remember, I said there are no perfect, but there is authentic or plagal or descent or uh, frigid. Okay, number five is in D flat. That should be D flat, not D. Yeah, that's five to one. So to do. And so it's an authentic cadence, right? Is it perfect or imperfect? Imperfect. 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 Yeah. Why is it imperfect? Because you don't have the the tonic and yeah, you don't have the tonic and soprano in the final chord. And then finally, the last one is an E minor. And what's my progression there? So we go. That's five to one. That's five to one. And is that perfect or imperfect? Perfect. perfect. It's perfect. So that would be a perfect thing. Okay. See how all that works. It's, it's pretty straightforward. It's not rocket science. It really isn't. So don't overthink it or try and make it more difficult than it is. Um, it's partly just memorizing. You know, like memorizing what is perfect and then knowing that everything else is imperfect. And then knowing that the reason we, we think about all this stuff is because we want to know, you know what's going to be the most final sounding case for the end of our phrase and what's going to be the most or maybe not the most, but what's going to be something less final sounding for the end of our phrase. Right? Okay. So any more